Um, hello, this is Elijah Ignatieff of Planetary Guardians, and this is Planetary Guardian Media's team number four, session number four, module one. And uh, why don't we have a check-in from everybody? Just kind of say where you're at and maybe your biggest learning of the week, if there was one. Lisa, do you want to start? Uh, I think my biggest learning of the week is I need more patience sometimes. And uh, to not so quickly judge. That one. Uh, Kaylee? Um, so in my five spaces map, in my one-on-one -on -one space, I'm pretty sure I have trust there. And I'm learning why I am not trusting. So my doctor sent me to Yorkton for an ultrasound on my knee that I have on my meniscus. Yorkton does not do ultrasounds on your knee. So that was like two weeks that I could have been in Regina or Saskatoon, but I was waiting for Yorkton. Oh my God, it sounds like Yorkton. <laughs> so that's my biggest learning of the week is I'm finally learning why I have so many or why I had trust in my one-on-one -on -one space mm. or in my group space. <coughs> one -on -one spaces. I think it was one-on-one, -on -one, wasn't it? Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, Jenna. My biggest thing that I've learned this week, um, I, you know, it's hard to put into words, to be honest. <laughs> I want to say that it's, that I underestimate myself too much. That's what I'm going to sum it up as. Good one, too. <laughs> um, I, I had uh, learning. I, it was like I had... Uh, I guess the closest thing I could call is revelations. Um, I've been having downloads in the last week that, that sort of defy my ability to comprehend them. They're, they're like, because of the accumulation of like 25 years work and I met another man who's got like a piece of what I have and he just went like this with them and like, <laughs> Do you guys know the gene keys at all? You know the gene keys? If you if you write this down, genekeys.com, G-E-N-E-S, I know gene, gene, -E -E dot com, And uh, you can get your profile. It's a, it's a whole huge, massive uh, body of work and what it does is it has your gene key has the shadow element, it has the gift element, and it has the city element. And the gift is like a value. So essentially what we're doing with the values is, is one side of these gene keys. There's 64 gene keys, and you put your birth date in, and it gives you 11 of them in a pattern. And so what this uh, Dermenda did is he, he took the gene keys, because he's an expert in them, and he took these conversation types. I have a card deck, you know, the 72 conversation types. And he matched them exactly. Like he, he matched <laughs> 64 of them, the, the eight teams match. And then there's the ninth, which is the stewardship. And, um, and, and you, now I can do profiles of people. I can take your gene key, Jana, and give you a, a map of conversation types. That's, that is so interesting. Anyway, that was my learning of the week. That, and plus, <laughs> I don't like my weeks are getting very intense because I'm I'm starting now to connect with so many people in groups that I don't quite know how to handle it. Anyway, um, to go from obscurity into into I was occurring. So, uh, Lisa, was I supposed to send you? I was supposed to send you the 
last week's thing so you could do last week's thing, wasn't it? And I didn't do that, did I? Yeah, I didn't do that, did I? Yeah, and also the previous week also I missed the homework piece, so I have nothing right now written down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, Follow-up is uh, one of over. Okay, well, we, we can we can get those to you and you can catch up um, afterwards. Uh, let me write that down. I'm like I'm, I'm I haven't I'm loading all the videos in a in a website and I haven't got around to getting the four teams in there yet. So that's one of the many things. Send to Lisa. What is your um, email? L I S A G W at sasktel, S-A-S-K-T-E-L dot N-E-T. L-I-S-A-G-W at sasktel dot net? Correct. Okay. Okay. Do you, um, Haley, just want to do a quick review of the uh, flow map you did? The flow map? Can we start with Janet? I'll go grab mine. Okay. Janet, do you I have did. yours? Just so we can kind of show Lisa what we did. You want me to show it? If you can't, or speak it, or... I can, just a second. I just got to do this and this. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Can you see that, Lisa? If I turn it this way, Mickey. I, yes. Okay. Okay, so that was the main thing we did is we did the flow map and then we did a value system on it. And so that's what I'll be sending you to do. And then we spent a lot, like we sort of, because um, no, you got the other two weren't there, we spent a lot of time specifically with Kaylee and Janet doing their, their, their values mapping. Uh, that was the main thing that we did. So, and Kaylee is on. Apparently, I left mine at home. That's okay. Um, Sorry. Okay, so what? Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to draw a time cone like that. Future, present, so on the time call we've got the past, the present, and the future, and in the future we have four sort of ovals, and then the in the inflow, there's four main interfaces. There's the choice interface, the flow interface, the synergy interface, and the harmony interface. So the harmony is at the community level, synergy is at the organizational level, the flow 
is the outer you and the choice is the inner you. So does everyone have that map? I'll send you nice versions of these. I just want you to sort of physically do it. So what we did in the last two weeks, Lisa, we did the flow map. The first week, the very beginning, we sort of did a choice map in a sense. And then what we're going to do today is a synergy map. Okay. So I want you to draw another circle and draw an Enneagram on it. Where do we draw the circle? Um, just on another piece of paper. Oh, gotcha. And then you can number it, um, put the, the nine, nine numbers, but it go 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4. 3 same nine numbers, but just put a three in front of everything. Now, Lisa, Lisa, what um, you're 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 the sort of like the CEO of the learning center, but are you also on other boards and other organizations for your regular work? Right now, uh, I was designated chair of the learning center, and I am involved in other boards in the community. Yes. Are you? Are you currently like running an organization or are you in like your normal no. kind of thing? No, I work for a municipality. Municipality. Mm -hmm. And do they have, they must obviously have an organizational chart. Oh gosh, yes. It's administrative. It's government. They have work. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So what I'm about to give you is a organizational chart that supposedly can fit to any situation any organization, any business, anything, even the government. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see what you think. <laughs> I can see there's, you have a uh, dubious. <laughs> okay, so what we got is 3.1, 3 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, 6, 7. Okay. Okay, now um, get Oh, and in the middle, 3.0. Now, I'm going to give you a, a sort of a new sneaky exercise. Let's see. Okay, now get 10 pieces of paper, and um, we're going to write 10 words. This is all pretty exciting stuff, eh? I can just see you guys are just like really excited. <laughs> it said uh, 10 words? Yeah, we're, we're going to get 10 pieces of paper and we're going to write a word on each piece of paper. Oh, okay. You're going to give us the words? Yeah. yeah. Actually, while we're waiting, um, on another piece of paper, I want you to draw the flow map. And Lisa, I'll help you with that. Well, I guess you probably both need help. Draw another Enneagram. Do this. Do this. Also, do this. You don't have to, Janet, because you got your flow map. But I would like Kaylee and Lisa to draw a flow map, too. So get another piece of paper 
and then draw this diagram on it, and then I'll tell you what words to draw on it, okay? So, Janet, do you have the 10 pieces of paper? <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm on mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to quickly tell them the words on the flow map. Did you have your circle done, you guys? Kaylee and Lisa? Yep, okay. So at 2.1, uh, write field. At 2.2, write resources. At 2.3, write job. At 2.4, write activities. At 2.5, write creativity, I mean, I mean products. 2.6, write relationships. At 2.7, write path. At 2.8, write strategies. At 2.9, write agreements. And at 2.0, write conversations. Okay, you got that. So on the 10 pieces of paper now, I want you, everyone ready? Uh, on one piece of paper, write uh, learning. On Can another piece of paper. What's that? What, what are we writing? Learning. Okay, now we're writing on the 10 pieces of paper. So write learning on one, uh, then write um, synergy on one. Then write stewardship on one. Then write research on one. Then write mark marketing on one. Then write services on one. Then write uh, creativity on one. Then write operations on one. Then write infrastructure on one. Kaylee, are you cheating? No. <laughs> and then write uh, infrastructure and then communication on one. Okay, so now what, what you are going to do is you are going to place, give you about 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes. You're, you're gonna place the cards, the, the, the pieces of paper on the synergy wheel on one of the 10 spots. But I want you to look at the flow map to figure out, because the flow map's here, right? The synergy map is right on top of it. So the words that are used in the synergy map correlate to the words that are on the flow map beneath it. Would you guys understand what you got to do? Yep. All right. Give me a thumbs up when you're done. You're already done, Lisa? <laughs> that was I quick. didn't even see Corey's mark. Did you, you you were cheating. I know you were. I not. You were. Lori has these maps all over the office. I've memorized them. <laughs> or okay, so you can't go first. Okay. <laughs> Jana, you go first. Were we supposed to pick where we were putting each? <laughs> I just like, them upside down and pick and put them where they felt like they should go. <laughs> I thought I we were give you that option. Okay, let's hear it. I think That's I like that. Option? Well, you were supposed to consciously choose this one by looking at the flow map. <laughs> I did not do that. I like doing divinely <laughs> I guess I must be pretty bad at giving instructions 
Okay, so Kaylee okay. already knows it. Janet did another way. Why don't we start with Lisa and see if, if Lisa did it? Okay. Uh, in the middle, I put uh, communication. Okay. And then uh, 3.1 is research. Ooh. Uh, 3.2 is learning. Oh. Okay. Was that a good O or a O? No, that was a bad O. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, at 3.3? Well, now I'm poached. Well, no, we, <laughs> you can still keep going. Uh, 3.3 .3 was creativity. Okay. 3.4 was synergy, 3.5 okay. was services, Okay. 3.6, I didn't have one, Okay. <laughs> 3.7, didn't have one, <laughs> I have two 3.8s, okay. And two 3.9s. There we go. <laughs> okay, excellent. Uh, what do you got at 3.8? 3.8 is marketing and operations. 3.9 is stewardship and infrastructure. I see. I see. Okay, Jana, what do you got? 3.1, I have stewardship. Okay. Then operations, then communications, then infrastructure, then creativity service learning synergy research and then in the center is marketing okay so kaylee tell us what it should be <laughs> all right i'm pretty sure i have this right i'm pretty sure i didn't actually cheat uh 3.9 is stewardship 3.1 is research 3.2 is synergy 3.3 is learning 3.4 what which one did I get wrong? 3.2 was not correct. <laughs> Sorry, 3.2 is infrastructure. 3.2 is infrastructure. Okay. 3.3 is learning. 3.4 is creativity. 3.5 is synergy. 3.6 is services. 3.7 is marketing, 3.8 is operations, and in the middle is communications. Did I get the rest right? No. Oh. 3.8 3. is interfacing or marketing. Okay, so I'll just, I'll give you the, uh, oh, shoot. so 3.9 is stewardship, 3.1 is research, 3.2 is infrastructure, 3.3 is jobs, 3.4 Oh no, 3.3 is learning, sorry. 3.4 is operations. Oh wow. 3.5 is creativity. 3.6 is synergy. 3.7 is services. 3.8 is marketing. And in the middle is 3.0 is communication. Now, as you can see, they can all fit pretty much with all of them, right? They, you know, there is a natural correspondence between all of them. So you could sort of arrange it in many different ways. So I, I would like to kind of go through each one and see what you think. So in terms of stewardship and agreements, I'd like each of you to kind of say something about that relationship. Would you like to go first, Lisa? No. Okay. How about you, Kaylee? Um, the way Lori's been doing a little bit of work with this too. So the way she explains it is like the stewardship is the captain of the, or they're the ones who are in charge of your life. You're in control of your life. They're the ones who have the vision of where you want to go. I think. Yeah. And the connection to agreements. Um, I guess you if you're in control of your life you need to agree with your decisions that you're making and because you want to make the best decisions that are going to take you to, towards your vision 
<laughs> I like it. I like it. I also like the expressions on your face when you say that. <laughs> okay, Jana, what about you? What's the relationship between stewardship and agreements? Um, I'm not, I'm not totally clear on what stewardship means. <laughs> Honestly. Have you ever used that term before kind of? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking of it in relation to like farming practices, like, with, like stewardship for the land. That makes sense. I think that's where I've heard it before. So if you apply that to agreements, it would be like how you agree how things would cohesively go together or work together. Okay, uh, Lisa? <laughs> I like what you said there, Jana, in terms of uh, how it all, you have an idea of how it should all be brought together and you kind of keep it on track with the stewardship agreements could be, I don't know if that's a legal thing or just a verbal contract between people. Sort of like, I mean, most people these days use the term management, right? The management team, the executives, the, 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 the people that are sort of running the show for an organization. The new paradigm term is stewardship. So it's kind of like, switching from management to stewardship where we're not really owning it but we're just taking care of it so the, the people that are stewards are in a place of authority and in an organization the organization is basically based upon all of the contracts right all of the agreements that exist within your organization the agreements between the people between the the, the people who are running things the people who are the employees or between all the people if, if it's a co-op but essentially if you're being of service to somebody in some group, they have an agreement around some sort of money transaction, around something like Jan is running a business and people agree to pay her a certain amount and she agrees to give her a certain service, right? And, and for Kaylee, people come into your, your program and they're going to pay a certain amount of money. They're going to get a program. It's based upon an agreement. So basis of business, in many ways, is that job, relationships, agreements, triad in relationship to the products at 2.5. That each of you has a job within your workplace and you have agreements regarding that job with the relationships at 2.6, right? So stewardship and learning and synergy. Stewardship is timeless, learning is lunar, and synergy is by the hour, if you look at it from a time point of view. so. Your synergy of your relationships is all of your relationships in your business. You got your partners, you got your contractors, you got your suppliers, you got your specialists, you got your members, you got all of the different people that exist within that business, but you see them on an hourly basis. They, they come in, they pay you by the hour. Um, you have your little meetings, and it's not by the day, by the by. A, um, larger time cycles it's that you spend hours with people right so your relationships you're spending hours with but if you're looking at your job and you're learning I mean the biggest thing I think about any job is you're learning to do your job you're constantly learning if you're in a, a good job hopefully and that you look at a 28 day cycle you look at the lunar cycle and you're and you're 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 doing your job the agreements are timeless and you're in a synergy of relationships and that triangle is the three six nine on the enneagram so that's your potent kind of force and kind of like it's like the the lunar is more your inside stuff your synergy is more your outside and your stewardship is balancing the captain is balancing it's like if you have the captain the first officer and the diplomatic officer the diplomatic officer is dealing with the people that are, are, that you're serving. The first officer is dealing with your crew and all the people inside your business. And the captain is, is honoring the agreements and going a certain direction. Okay? So then, 
you have the other six where you have research and you're researching fields. You're researching the invisible fields, you're researching the visible fields. You're, you, you can look at anything of knowledge as a field. Then you go to, that's lifetime. You're looking like a lifetime of research, long term. Then you go into infrastructure, which is yearly at your resources. And you're looking at, you know, what are all the things in your business? You're looking at your money, you're looking at your people, you're looking at your time, you're looking at your assets. All of these are resources. Everything in your business, the room you're sitting in, the desk you're sitting in, the pen you're using, the courses that you go to, the people that you know, essentially are all the resources that all together create your infrastructure. And if you look at your infrastructure over a period of a year, you're going to see what are all the things we need in our infrastructure to create the products at five. Because at five, you got your creativity. Your creativity, the essence of your creativity are your products and your gifts. Your personal gifts inside you and the products that you're creating. So you're using the resources at two to create the products at five. And the way you bring them into the world is at eight through your marketing. Your marketing is present moment all the time. So a lot of times things are missing on that triangle. You miss the infrastructure, you miss the marketing, or you're missing a product, but you need all three of those things together. Then you have the triad between one, four, and seven, where you have operations of activities, which are daily, and those are all the things that you're doing every day to run your business that you're not really getting paid for. And then at seven, you have your services, which is minute to minute direct to your customer. And you're going down a path. Right? So you got your internal operations and you got your external services. Your operations are all the activities that you're doing. And at seven, at services, you're going down a path. Like your program, Kaylee, you're taking them down a path. Jenna, you're taking them down a path and it's minute to minute, right? If you're doing a healing session, you're doing a massage. You can track the path that you're going with that person. You can either track it mentally or you can track it uh, physically. And then in the center, you've got communication and conversations, and that's at all time cycles. And that, co that connects into each one of those. So whoever's sitting in the middle is making sure that the conversations are taking place that connect all the people in your organization. They're the facilitator.